brought to you through the regional support of First Five Fresno County, First Five Tulare County, and First Five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. Bicycle helmets, knee pads, life vests, and seat belts. Parents make sure their kids are wearing them. But what about earplugs? Noise pollution can really hurt your child's ears. So we want to make it loud and clear. When it comes to those tiny ears and toxic noise, it may be time to turn it down. Adults, and yes, kids, enjoy a good rock concert, even in the comfort of their own home. But when does sound become harmful to those tiny ears? We posed that question to Reed Adams Denner, a licensed clinical audiologist in Porterville. He says there are a couple of telltale signs you've been exposed to sound that is too loud. Your ears do give you a signal. Your ears do feel a little stuffy, and you may hear ringing in your ears. Reed says once the damage is done, it's permanent. We're born with a certain number of inner ear hair cells, the nerve cells, uh, and we've got quite a few, maybe 20,000 in our cochlea. Uh, it begins to impair hearing, and they don't grow back. They don't rejuvenate. And damage to your hearing at a young age can have lifelong consequences. They're at a point in their life where they're learning to talk, learning language, and uh, it could impair that. It could slow them down. So what can a parent do to protect their child? First, think about the activities that take place in and around your home. Monitor your child's headphone use. The main concern is the, the iPods and the MP3 players. Research tells us that these little bud headphones that set in the ear, um, kids tend to turn them louder than a, a standard headphone set. Next, become educated about the effects of loud noise on your ears and then give your kids an earful. As you're, you go along after about five, ten minutes, your ears uh, kind of uh, don't hear it as loud, don't perceive it as loud and the tendency is to actually turn it up even more. It's a good idea to use protection. By the time they reach adulthood, they'll be worse off than our generation. When attending events that may involve loud noise, such as fireworks, take a step back. Create some distance between you and the noise. When there's a loud noise, go further away because noise dissipates with distance. Turn that volume down. Get used to hearing things more acceptable, more medium level. As parents, we want our kids to be able to hear all of the nuances of sound in the world around them, from the mundane to the magnificent, so it's wise to turn it down. Environmental sounds aren't all that loud and you can't enjoy them if you're hearing impaired. Austin, what do you hear? Bird. You hear a bird? I, I hear a bird too. Anyone hear the trickling water? Some sound advice. If you'd like more information on how loud noise can hurt a person's ears, just go to our website and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. Brought to you through the regional support of First Five Fresno County, First Five Tulare County, and First Five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. <laughs>